So starting with NX50.4, you can now run multiple targets for multiple projects at the same time. So up until now, if you wanted to run a target against multiple projects, you would use the run many command, use the dash dash target flag, and then pass, for instance, test to run the test for all the projects in a given NX workspace. What you can now do in addition to that is pass multiple targets as well. So instead of just passing test here, I can add a space in here and add also, for instance, the build and lint targets. Now the test targets obviously would now be pulled out of the cache, but you can see that NX now parallelizes the linting and building and testing on various projects in parallel. And you can even go a step further. So we always supported the dash dash project flag where you can pass in the name of the project to just run it for a series of different projects that you have. Now assume for instance in our workspace here, we have here such a domains folder, which has the various domain areas of this project. And here we have a product one with a couple of projects within that. Now, if you open up a single project, you can go to this configuration file where you can then find the actual name. Now, obviously we could just copy and paste this into this project array here, into this project flag, and add one after the other, but that's actually not really convenient because most of the time what you really want to do is run the testing and linting for the entire product's domain area. And that's actually totally possible. You can not just list the project names individually, but you can actually also use globs. So I could do something like domains products dash star, and it would now run the targets for all the projects that match this glob pattern. Now notice that for some command line interface, you might need to quote these, so pay attention to that. And so now you can see it applies the linting, building, and testing for all the projects within the domain's products area. There is no build target, so there's no build actually that needs to be run here. And since we ran these commands just a couple of minutes ago, it actually got pulled out of the cache, so it didn't even run anything. And to make it even easier, what we also did is we shortened these commands. So now you can also just use the dash P for projects or the dash T for targets. And obviously this works also in a package-based monorepo where names usually are slightly different and that they are identified by their package JSON name property, which is usually an NPM scope. So hope you enjoyed this one. Definitely make sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any of these new cool features as they come up. And I will see you in the next one.